Yo, yo. Yes, sir. And we are back for, shall I say, our last episode? Our season finale. It's been so short. But we'll be back. It was a good little... A little, what, four, three, four episode run? Yeah. But we got it. We, we got the format down. So we know how to do this now. Now we, gotta, now we just got to spice it up, you know what I'm saying? Spice it up. Wait, over here. Spice it up. But uh, welcome back. It's the podcast, boys. Better it's, known it's, as a Flag Beast Podcast. Yeah, it's stuck. Royalty. As soon as my cleats touched the field on Sunday. Oh, they was on your neck? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you got it. You got, it's like you got I said, a taste of it. Oh, but it was it was all Love. all in good. All in good, uh, what's the word I should say? Love and battle. Okay. You know? Because, of course, somebody is on the bad end of our predictions always. And uh, we... Uh, we wanted people to feel some type of way always, you know, inspiration yeah. or whatever it may be. I feel like I did good. I think it's been working. You did better than I did. Your bracket was better than mine. So I feel, I feel like I, I feel like you, I did you good. You guessed every what was champion. it? Every single champion. I got every you got every champion, champion right. right. So, I'm pretty sure I got a couple of hey, brackets. Who's, who's that? Is that your phone? I think I got like every bracket right. Every champion bracket right. I got a lot of the the picks right. So I feel yeah, like I no. did. I, I, I felt like I did good for for my for this one. my bracket got busted. Yeah, and it was early. it was completely. I mean, my own team. I couldn't. We couldn't even yeah, make yeah, it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but man, that was a damn good game against Unk and Dirty. But yeah, so my bracket was destroyed in the first hour, hour and a half of Sunday. Yeah. But um, but nonetheless, uh, you know how we start. How was your flag week, sir? Sunday was rough. It was great to be back at Supreme. We played well. We just lost. You know, that's, you know, when you lose, it, it it's an L. So, but it was a, it was a really good game. We uh, lost to a really good team in Unk and Dirty. And then um, it was the film. Dude, the games were crazy. The games were crazy on Sunday. Way crazy. They were. It they was were some awesome. good games. Yeah. Some very good games. Yeah. Good and, competition um, the whole week. Weekend. The energy was high. You had a, you had everything. I mean, it was, yeah, you guys. We'll we'll get into more of you know the intricacies of Sunday. But it was a very very good Sunday. And then um, yesterday we won in NLS in men's extremely tough game. Yes, sir. It was uh, honestly the best game collectively that that batch of guys had played through and through. And uh, that's definitely what it took because it came down to the last play. And uh. And we pulled through. We made it happen, though. How was your flag week? Oh, I, 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 I won. You got to win too, no, so I we know, can't I be know. mad. Like no, we I both knew, came no, away. We both hey, came away you, winners. I saw this you week. wiggling. I was like, we this both man came ready away. to talk. Yeah, we both yes, came sir. away winners this weekend. Yeah, I stayed true to like I like I said before the one the one a month one right? a month one yep. a month. I'm trying to get one and a don't month. Don't matter how it gets done. I'm, I could just see your excitement out the corner of my eyes. That's why I said that. I'm keeping it true. One a month. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good flag week. Uh, bar, I mean, yesterday was it? It was flip flop for us. It yeah, was flip flop for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, so nonetheless, it was it was flag. You win some, you lose some, but you you you. It's never what you really expect. Yeah, it never goes. But you just ask for the next opportunity to put your cleats on. Yeah, it never goes as planned. So, um, but nonetheless, we are uh. Wrapping it up with Supreme's fives. Um, so on our screen right now, we have uh, our women's MVP. Uh, you just touched the button. What sound did that make? That's applause. I'm learning my buttons. That's an applause. I like it. Yes. Mysterious. That I don't Shout know what Yanni. these buttons do yet. Yeah, exactly. There we go. We got buttons, people. Yanni. Congratulations, Johnny. She balled out. Definitely. She balled out. No. Women's ship game, I had, went back and watched it because I was filming another game. Right. Wifey took care of that, shouts out. That game looked crazy. Highlight on highlight on highlight. The people. women's, when we get to the women's scores, the women's brackets, it was a lot of good games. Like, it was, I think it was the most exciting of them in as far as, like, well, I mean, there's so much, you know, men's games. Yeah. So, of course, it's a little. But I feel like this might, I think, like, we go into every season Saying it's the best bracket, like the best game. But I really think this season for women, like it was bracket, amazing. A lot of the teams was have awesome. progressed to a point where you have different levels, of course, but you still have like a lot of the women's teams are playing 
up to the talent that they play against. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. so we'll talk more about yeah. Lethal Storm when we get into it as well. But yeah, they so. they impressed me with how, how they play. They made me eat my words, that's for sure. So, But congratulations to Yanni. MVP. Straight up baller. Shout out to Mr. Keyshawn Peters. Mr. Peters. The pride of... Uh, that's not an applause. I'm going to be so upset. The, the pride of uh, Straw Hats. Straw Hat yeah. University. The pride of Straw Hat University, Mr. Keyshawn Peters, MVP. I was able to watch... Um, a little bit of that game, of the uh, Straw Hats versus Blazers. Blazers. Yeah, okay. I watched a little bit of it, and then I had went over to um, watch some women's games. Or no, I think I actually had to get ready for my game. Okay. Yeah, I think I had to get ready for my game. So. Yeah, because my game was at ten twenty. So yeah, I was able to catch the beginning because that was a nine forty game. Okay. So I was able to catch a little bit of that, and then um, go over there. Shouts out to him though. Oh, I owe you. We have, we're sending. We got to send Auntie some money. For fruit bowls, yes. For, yeah. We will discuss that once we yeah, get into Because it's a lot of interest. We'll intricacies. consider the fruit bowls eaten. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yes, to. yes, you you did. Uh, you won that bout. Congratulations, sir. Yes, we sir. need a little chalkboard of... Uh, Tallies. Of yellow yeah, tally marks. Shout out and to our DPOY for the women's division. Uh, yes. Nicole. One of, uh, our, one of our very own. Rocks with us on Flag Beast Co-Ed. Yes. Uh, Coley Cole. Cold World, the island. Low, low seat belt, right? Low seat belt. Yeah, that's the low one. Seat belt. Low seat belt. Low car seat belt. So yeah, she. Uh, shout out to her. Good job. Yeah, she. That was unexpected by a lot of people. I mean, us included. No. We knew she had no, no. We knew she had it in her, but literally the the manner in which she did it was impressive, bro. She's been even very at, even at tournaments, even at She's tournaments, been consistent. Because we've seen it in leagues outside of Supreme. It's not just yeah. a, a switch flipped in her head. Yeah, recently she's been consistent. Yeah, a I switch flipped that. in her head. That's yeah. why we we always knew she was capable of something like that. But no. yeah, no, a switch flipped. And then we have the men's defensive player of the year. Ooh, 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 dog. Put him anywhere, anywhere yeah, we played against field. we played against him last night, and anywhere he was dropping back a he, double. He's he playing, locking, playing he locking defense. shit up on defense, making shit happen on offense. No surprises there. No surprises there. Congrats, Mook. And then uh, and uh, the you see the group cover update, but you know we'll get more into that. Congrats to Champa Bay and TDR. So first division. Oh, we're starting here, hey. From the bottom up. Started at the bottom. Oh no, we can, we just go to the scores. Yeah, the scores are so, right here. First round. Let me zoom in some. First round, I do believe we had, uh, I think we both had game over going over. Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, I picked Salty Dogs, didn't I? You did? Yes, I I did. uh, I don't know if they showed up like that or not. They had to, but. I was just, i just gotten done playing, so I wasn't able to watch that game. Limited edition won that. Um, I was emotional. Okay. Fearless. So, Team Elite didn't show up. They didn't show up. Yeah, 28-0. Um. Then Surge beat Ota. Oh, hey, Orange. let's open up our notes. Or no, that was for All Star drafts. We didn't yeah. get picks, did we? No. Nah. So Surge Mark beat that down in the notes. We got to make sure we have Surge beat Ota Orange. I think we had that. Called. We had Surge going to the championship and winning. So yeah, yeah, ultimately, yeah. we had this champion right. Yeah. But um, I mean, I had. I, I think I had the whole bracket right. Minus Team Elite not showing up. I think we yeah because we both picked Team Elite. Yeah. So. So yeah that. I think that was the only thing, like, because we we actually agreed on this whole, the, yeah, on this bracket. So I mean, that's short and sweet. We called it. We called it. Some well, of the teams bracket, have had, some of the teams have had good bad bracket, luck sir. since we've predicted them. Now we have something on the good side. So Surge so that makes through. what we only had. If you count them, I mean, that's a good. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll one take lost that. bracket. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So you division. go to the C. I was wrong here because I bet yeah. it against y'all. Yeah, you definitely and Dynasty, did. they lost to Karma. Yeah. So they blew my, like that blew my bracket. That blew my bracket up. Yep. And then um 501st did beat the nation, correct? They definitely because we played them in semifinals. Yep, exactly. And um, so um the left side of the bracket went as planned. For me personally, the right side of the bracket. No, you went Dynasty too as well. So that I had everything right. Huh? I had everything right except for except for the except for the dynasty pick, but mm-hmm. but I had dynasty going to the ship and losing. But how are these scores? Thirty to thirteen. How how did Sack Street look? I haven't been able to it watch wasn't, them. They didn't gel. That no. It wasn't anything that it was any any trouble. Okay. But, and then um, the nation. 
you saw you saw more of them, yeah. I seen. I didn't get to actually watch their game, but I know some of the players that play with them. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, keep this but I know some of the players that play with them. I didn't actually get to see who. It, how they run the team, but like what each player contributed yeah, yeah, to the yeah, team. Yeah. yeah, but from what I hear, they're a solid team. I mean, um, solid good season, idea for next season that people have been telling me about is like week one, perhaps like we take a bye, okay, and we sat where we're set up in the tent or whatever, and we have people come up if they want to submit like a roster with their names and this, this, and that for the purposes. Not for, you know, the league and this, this, and that. Simply because they want to be represented on the podcast with their name and not be a nobody, for a lack of better terms, when they, you know, could be a player that deserves more recognition, and, you know, simply because we don't know them. Okay. You know, so maybe that's a that's something that we should do next season is uh Definitely. whoever wants to, you know, come up to the tent, let us know who's on your squad, da-da-da-da-da, you know, a little bit about y'all, so that way we can... Help everybody and ourselves, of course, because we have to uh, we have to know more people. It's you know, it's part of what we're doing now. Definitely, so definitely, we could definitely do that. I couldn't let that escape my head. That's why I almost cut you off because it was a really good suggestion. So yes, yes, congratulations to you, yes, you sir. and BJ. You split the MVP. No, he got it. He got it. Yeah, I know he, he got, got it. it. But I, he got it. He I was told it. by multiple people that you both. Oh yeah, we bought we like so in the in the championship game we got down early. We was down twelve zero early, mm-hmm. and then we scored right before half, and then they came out of half score. So, like we was down, we was bullshit and not gonna lie. Like from the jump, and then we just had to find a way to fight it out and win the game. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like the the previous two games leading up to the championship game where we just like kind of just walked over whoever we were playing and then coasted to the finish. It was like we actually had to, you know, play the damn game to win. So. And did you get two one pointers or one two pointer? I believe we got one two pointer. I want to say because I know we were down six to twelve. Oh no, we got one. We got two one pointers. Yeah. Okay, two one pointers. Okay, yeah, because we was down seven twelve at halftime. And then, yeah. Dang it, dynasty! So we got the B division. B division. Uh, I think we both had outlaws over double up. Yes, we did. Okay. We had uh, bets over smoke. We did. Um, TWG over Flashbang. Uh, I pick B three over Chaos. But look at that game, though. Yeah, yeah. But from, look at uh, that game. Yeah, that was. I wish I could have watched that game. Um, Outlaws over Onsite, who I found out was actually NWA. Yes, exactly. No, so after I found um, out that was NWA. No, after we had made last week's episode, I had seen JB comment. Okay. On something um, pertaining to them, and I was like, okay, that we know exactly who that is. Okay. So, um, Zayn afraid of sipping. I heard that went to four overtimes. That's what I heard happen in that game. That that game went to four overtimes. I had sipping in that game. Hey, Za, much love, y'all coming up and uh, you know, keeping it real, respecting the opinion, and I mean, y'all ultimately went and had a championship run, which is what I was expecting of y'all. So. You know, way way to come out and show out. You know, you're one one game short. Yep. Appreciate uh, you uh, helping the bracket though, and letting you know TWG take that thing. But TWG over chaos. Yep. Like I said, chaos kind of made a little run, but they just couldn't finish it. And I was talking to Vontae. You okay. know, what I'm saying Nike Uzumaki. Shouts out to my boy. He picked chaos to win all of this. Okay. Because, um, you know, he, he's played a lot with Noah. He plays with Mayhem, you know. He right. has a lot of experience with those guys. And he said when Noah's on. It's hard to be on. It's, he's on. Right. And that's what it was looking like. I had to leave the Chaos TWG game to go film the men's championship. But I tried to catch a little bit of it. And the game was looking like a little bit of a dogfight for a little bit. Nobody was, when nobody was scoring it for a 7-0 game, right? So, so like close scores. Yeah, nobody was... Nobody was blowing anybody out, really. Who? What was a notable blowout of the day? I just like don't. I haven't even. We haven't even recognized. There's twenty six zero. So that I mean that, that would be it. But like we expected Outlaws to win that game, so it's like. Uh, I seen the end of the Dope Blink Karma game. That was a good game the whole way through. It was. Yeah. Yeah, there really were no other than the forfeit, and then yeah. Oh, well, it's. 
Surge beating Fearless 28 0. So I don't know what. what? It, so I, I think oh, it might have been asked, double is, forfeits. Oh, is that I why don't you know, asked yeah. forfeits? I don't know if it was double forfeits and he just gave the win to Fearless and then Fearless advanced and then. Oh, so double, double, there. double forfeit here. Yeah. Fearless and Team Elite. Yeah. Okay. So he just moved okay. Fearless. I got. Down, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Okay. So we were in B. Yeah. So yeah, like really, I mean, I wouldn't call twenty six thirteen. This could have been garbage time at the end. It could have been twenty to thirteen. Possibly. You know what I'm saying? I know that. I know from what uh, Jamie was telling me and uh, yeah, Tone was is, telling me is that they hand like they handily. Yeah. Beat this double is up. this they is so handily, far the blowout. They handily beat them. So nice job, Outlaws. Yeah. So far, that's the blowout. Um, and then, four OTs though. If you, it doesn't matter if it was still went to overtime, yeah. and we split on this game. So, yes, sir. We teams, your guy, you know, playing up to your potentials because that's how that game should have went. You know. Um, and then I think the TWG game was the score doesn't indicate the actual. You're talking about this one game. I think yeah. TWG scored at the end, if I'm not mistaken. I was trying to look over so I could see what was happening because right. I heard the hype and everything. But if I'm so not mistaken, I think it was a 20 to 12 game that and TWG like scored at the score end. At yes, the end. I, okay. that, I could completely be wrong, but I was trying to get like the energy from the field. Yeah. I was trying to get the vibe of the field and see just how the sidelines were acting when I was glancing over there, and that's kind of right. just kind of the assessment I made. Okay. But who knows? You know what I mean? Because TWG was really hype. And yeah. so it, it was either the, the score to get them to 20 or it was the one that got them to 26 that made them realize they won the game. Right. So, yeah, that game was – that or this bracket, very good. These brackets were just – they lived up to their potential. Hold on, we're going to skip the women's because we're going to come back to you guys, of course, um, and, uh, you know, talk about y'all by y'all selves. Got A bracket. So A bracket. TDR over this, GMB 27-0. It wasn't a surprising blowout. There was a touchdown. I've seen the play. Yep, I've seen the that, play. But that would have been 27-6, to 27-8 to eight at best. But um, um, GMB, they they were – they hung around for about two drives. And then about two drives. TDR did what TDR Shot does. a gang anarchy. Yeah. Yeah. Blazers over Juice, so that was, a, I guess you call that a blowout. Yep, that safety. Yeah. Or an extra point return. Possibly, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but, um, slime, slime over, over high, high stakes. stakes. So, I heard that game was just ugly. I heard there was drops, dropped interceptions, caught interceptions. Just, I heard that game was, sacks. I heard it was an early morning game. <laughs> like, That's a, I heard it was an early morning game. Tired. But, but um, I think we got all those picks right. Yes, we did. The first round, yeah. Yes, we did. Okay. And then second round, TDR over Rocky Top. Look at that score. I'm like, I so I had picked TDR by at least two touchdowns. I'm not like I said that last episode. I don't know if they were up and then Rocky Top came back. I don't know, but the two I was, points I was playing at ten twenty. The so two points. At, kudos that to could, Rocky that Top. Could've, that could have. That could have. Yeah, I mean. It like could have been said, the end of the well, game, and, need two points and score two well, points. And or, this is what, you know, I spoke on the last episode, and I was like, it is in the hands of Rocky Top if this game is going to be a blowout or not. Yeah. Like, if y'all play your game, like, it's these are extra points right here. You know what I'm saying? So yep. anyone can win a game off extra points if, if you know, you call the right plays and you execute properly. You know, it's being this close – to a team like TDR, that is the difficult part for a lot of people is staying in the dang game. Long so, enough to have a chance. Yeah, long enough to have a shot. So that, I wish I could have watched that game. Or not playing yourself out of the game. Yeah, too I wish I could have watched that game because, once again, like I said, I was playing. So um, maybe somebody has some film on it or, you know, if somebody just wants to comment and give us context to really what was going on in that game. That would be uh, awesome, but that's a that's a good game right there. Mafia versus Show Me. We had both, the Mafia boys walk past us. Yeah, Look we us both picked Show Me. And <laughs> said, "What you think happened?" No, and see, I <laughs> from I what I heard, there. Show Me had a lot of turnovers in the first half. That's what was told to me that it was a lot I, of turnovers. I want to say that's what I heard. Intentional or or unintentional, it was a lot of turnovers in the first half, and it propelled Mafia to be able to to be able take to, control of the game. to take control of the game. And, um, yeah, no, I walked past them. I was like, oh, what's up, y'all boys? And they went, show me, huh? Oh, they did say that. Yep. I was like, I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. And it was like, yep. 
Like, damn, son. Damn. It well, hurts. But hey, that. you want some, you lose some. Got to. Uh, Unk and Dirty and No Mercy. I caught bits and pieces of y'all game. It was back and forth. It was some drama. Uh, the biggest on flag the side football line, hit I have ever seen on the in side my line life. And off the sidelines. Um, but that was a damn good game. I could definitely say that. Damn good game. All the way to the end, for sure. It still hurts me. Damn good game. Congratulations on getting dirty. Hey, man. We um, played so good until, well, defense, we we didn't play well. We you know, against a, a team and a dynamic offense like Unk and Dirty, it comes down to getting one stop, and we just could not get it. Y'all got no stops? None. But then, if you know, you know the situation. We were put in, in an unfavorable situation, and okay. we just couldn't overcome. Either way, we still could have rose to the occasion. You right. know, me being a defensive player. Just I'm talking overcome. about I'm talking about yeah. my defense. It's just like yeah. we have to get a stop. It doesn't matter if the defense is on the field last. We got to get the stop right? right. Like that's you know because then you can't say oh this complimentary. Or, yeah, man, yeah. you just you're on the field. Of, you, we got to get the stop, and it's not. It, come on, it was it was still a tall task. You know, if you understand the circumstances we were under there, we should have let them score. We made a short IQ play that would have given us an opportunity, a better opportunity to go win the game. Right. And the way the game was going and, you know, the flow of it, we just won playoff. We had one mental lapse. I made a mistake big on the, the previous drive or, yeah, I think it was the previous drive or the ending drive. Okay. And so we just, we couldn't get it together, like, when we in needed. In the moment. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah, man. And in a game like that, 27 to 20, you know, it's – that little it, mistake at the end cost. Yep, yep ex- exactly. Well, it, it, it's not even that, like saying one mental mistake. It literally was a chain reaction because of how the game ended up flowing. Okay. You know what I mean? One mistake led to another mistake led to another mistake, which was like the one succession of mistakes that we needed to lose the game. You right. know what I'm saying? Because anyone, like, you know, offense could have stepped up, defense could have stepped up. That's what right. it comes down to, and neither one – did because offense makes a mistake, defense you got to pick me up. All or defense can't get a damn stop. Offense you got to keep scoring, right? You know right. that's that's how the tug of war should be. And yeah. we both we we let go of the rope. We were like, hey, we ain't, we know what I'm saying they got it type shit, you know. So, but <laughs> very good game. Shouts out Unk and Dirty uh, and M4L. We didn't have enough guys out there. Yeah, early to, early game, early game. So we uh, we couldn't get the guys. We had a lot of out of town guys. Uh, they just weren't able to make it. So it was really, it was really unfortunate, man, because we know what it is. Right. If if we were all there, we know what it is. So that was an early bracket, buster, bracket buster. I guess you could yeah, say. bro. Early. Yeah. Uh, so dark then side, dark side night- and nightmares. We figured out who dark side is, and now so, it, it's all coming back to me. So I watched the game. Mm-hmm. So dark side scored with probably I think they scored with like forty seconds left or something uh-huh. like that, and nightmares had a chance to come down and win the game, and in my honest opinion, it was horrible clock management. On oh, I night, saw that nightmares part. I saw that to they have a chance to win the game. Uh, they had timeout, so they had a timeout, and and they ran one play, right? Or they two. ran like three plays, in like thirty or forty seconds. And they got the they, they got they, just they, over half. They got the first though, right? Yeah, yeah, they got I was about first. to say that's what I was they, trying to like, remember. They got the first, but then they didn't manage that at all properly to give them a shot. They only got they got one play over midfield when they yeah, could have had a probably whole, two. Two or three, if they would have just ran a quick out or a dart. Yep. So, hey, that you get put in those situations. If you're not used to being put in those situations all the time, it's football. It'll be a situation that you're hey, not used to being in, it, and it, you won't know how to handle that. It's situation. the same that I just spoke on with my yeah. team. You know, it's just like situations and in, in flag and all sports. There's so many variables that you you can't prepare for. It in yeah, moment, you can't yeah. just up and say, "Oh, yeah, I'm ready for this." You just got to be ready when that moment. Right. Comes up, you know what I mean, and that's that's part of the game, and uh, so we got Blazers and Straw Hats, twenty-one to seven, Vet, veteran team. Yep, veteran win. That's what it was. Veteran team, veteran win. That's that's exactly what that was. They Blazers just did what they had to do to get the win to move on to the next round. And then we got Blazers versus Dark Side in the third round. How did we do in the second round overall? That's you got the Rocky Top pick. 
Uh, I well, no, we you picked TDR by two scores, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what that. Is. So we both so got that one. We got we show me wrong. Show me and the no and mercies for me. No, both no for mercies. Both of us. Yeah. Nightmares. Damn, we sucked on the second round. Fuck. Yeah, we got that all wrong. We got two two right in the second Gee. round. Third okay. round, Blazers dark side. I think we both took Blazers. Well, we took Blazers. I took Blazers. You had straw hats. Yeah, so that was dead right. for me. Uh, Unk and Dirty over make it happen. That was disappointing I, to so see every that time that I, was the next round so after every the game time we had. I want to say I might have been playing or I might have been like, that might have been during our first game when we were like already blowing out whoever we played, if I'm not mistaken. So they played at 11. So yeah, that might have been like right before I started playing. Every time I looked up, Bro, that game was I seen Mike throwing a bomb. Every single time, it it only it made the, it only it made the that, feeling worse. It was either that or I kept seeing one handed interceptions. Yeah, it really only made the feeling worse because like we, you know, oh if they just went and lost to Unk and Dirty, like we was gonna do the same thing to them. Yeah, but I mean, you know that playoff that, that first game That's, is always crazy. truly the roughest game. It's crazy. So. Shouts out Unk and Dirty. So they they another, were doing their thing. Make it happen. Gonna have to bounce back because that's not season that was, wise. That's yeah, not what, that how is they played. Not like, a good representation be, but of that. Yale. Might be. I'm not quite sure what they, their season they got, looked like. Oh, who they, they played, played. Yeah, facts, facts. So they might not have played. Well, and top like teams, and it may. And that, Mike that was in that situation. Mike was on one. He, uh, you know, I've played Unk and Dirty a couple of times now, and. The kind of looks that we were getting from them were were different. So Mike, right. I think was in I, Mike was in a mode. I think he was in a mode. Okay. I think he was doing his. I think he. Well, I mean, of course, he's got dogs all around him. Right. But you know, if Mike's not playing his game, yeah. You know, so. Uh, you flight, flight Squad mafia. mafia. So. We I had. Think you uh, took flight. Yeah. You had flight going this far because I um, took. Uh, I want to say I had Shada, and Shada what? lost. And the where did Shada? Where did lose? Shada? Yeah, they have Shada Flight Squad. Where's that score at? So I guess he never posted that score. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> that messed me up, dude. Because I, I saw Flight yeah, Squad, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, because yeah. I called that was where we had a yeah. discrepancy because I picked Flight Squad in that game. So, somebody, if you would like to post the uh, Flight Squad Shada Gang score. For us, so that way we can just know what it was for future reference. I'd appreciate that. So yeah, flight over mafia. Mm-hmm. Um, that's yeah. how it's I had it. Uh, so um, TDR handled ATA. That was a rematch from fours from the four bracket. So that was was what it was. Really, semis. This was. Okay, this 30, is the blowout of the day. Thirty-two over. This was the blowout of the day. So There's, I definitely was I playing. For, I definitely didn't get to watch that game, so I don't even know what bro, happened. Bro, you watched it? Sheesh, that bad? I was I was live uh, with Flight Squad TDR filming them. Okay. And on the live, I keep flipping over, and I'm like, yeah. At the halftime, I went over and, and started doing the live on their game. I was like, what's the score? They was like twenty four zero or something like that. I was like, what the hell? And bro, I'm talking blur, blur. Like they was going crazy. So well, you said Mike was in the mood. Yeah, it was. That's the blowout y'all of the pit, day. Y'all pissed Mike off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, TDR and flight. That. How was that? How was that game? Was it good till it wasn't good? Was dude. it a dominant game? Was it dude? This game was thirteen to twelve, if I'm not mistaken. At halftime, flight was up. Okay. And it was just... First play, a second half. Tyree takes it to the crib, right? Off a bomb or... No, off a little, I think a drag. Off of, so Yeah, a drag you or say something. say he's the fastest big man in the league. Took the, he took off. Me, okay. Me. Hip moves or just straight? Me, me. Oh, God damn. Yeah, I, okay, think, I think he ran like, you know, I don't can't remember exactly if he hit, but I think he just ran... Through somebody's pull, like on the sideline, like they just reached and he just went on. through it. You know what I'm okay. saying? First play of the second half, flight squad gets the ball. They throw a, like a quick out, or it was a shallow out. It was a shallow route to the right. You know, ball is a little behind, hundred percent catchable. Still, pops up. Dre pick six. 
That's what Dre do. So there was a 13 point swing. In the first, that's how the in the first in the first two drives in the, the first two drives and this that's how the game played that look that's it right there. So for the rest of the game, it was just back and forth. Nobody scored. Either that or if I'm mist- if I it could have been six to thirteen because I think Tay actually might have scored at the end. I have to go back and look at the film. By this time, I was delirious. It was hot out there. Right. But um, actually, I think they had a gar a garbage time TD that either made it to 25 or something like that. I have to look for the exact context. All I remember is... But flight was up at half. Yes, and okay. that's how... And once that happened, the first play touchdown with Tyree and then the pick six with Dre, Everything. Just I, knew what it, I knew what it was. Okay. I was like, TDR is going to win the game now. Okay. Like, it just... It, it did not... They never, flight never got it back like that. Like, it was just... There was drops after that. There, you know what I mean? Like, it was, yeah. yeah, it would just melt down after that. And they played the, the first half. It was night and day. But you, to get punched in the mouth like that in the, the, in the second, bro, that's. The second half, first play. You know how I, you remember how I was when we played TDR and four man and we played them really well in the first half. And remember we came out in the second half and we threw a pick and yeah. same thing it happened. It kind of starts compiling. And I was, like, I, I was like, what? I I was sick happened? with y'all. I yeah. was like, what are we doing? I was like, yeah. why even play that good in the first half? Yeah. What the fuck just happened? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, there's really, I don't even know what to say as far as, like I said, the plays were made and not by the right team that wanted to make those plays. It was like Flight wanted to make those plays, and they didn't capitalize, and TDR was right there to capitalize. Just because, you know, it was a little drop ball that always doesn't always get taken to the crib. You know, some, that ball hit the ground. But they wanted to make a play just as bad. They knew what it was. They were they kept their foot on the gas. Because TDR was hot at halftime. Boy, they was rah, rah, rah. But that's how, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Certain different dogs communicate different ways, right? So that's that's how they that's how, that's they, how they got it, and, each other right, bro. And they, they came out in the second half, bro. It was just straight business. So you know, shout out to them. That was an amazing game, Martin. I think you played really well, man. And you know, could have made more plays. Your your guys could have made some more plays for you. Defense could have gotten some stops. It's football, but that was that's a tough game for Martin. I know that one was tough on him because. There was a lot of drops. So it wasn't a lot of mistakes. There was a lot of drops, man. Okay. A lot of drops. But, um. So championship. Championship was now. TDR yeah. TDR and Unkin. Unkin. Dude, this game was freaking nuts. This game was nuts. You were playing at this, or you were getting ready to play at this time, were you not? Uh, 12 20, I want to say that was our championship time. Maybe. Maybe that was our championship time. No, we was playing in... Yeah, you got to keep scrolling. Don't do that. <laughs> that was our semifinal time. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. You got to keep going. Oh, man. So, yeah, that was our that semifinal women's time. women's bracket was crazy. Okay. So, yeah, so you filmed the final. This game was nuts, man. From I got over there as soon I as... I know I was talking... I think I was talking to Velt at this time because we was, like, in between games or I might have been just done or whatever and we was trying to figure out who was winning or who was losing so we was just looking at body language oh, but like yeah. you said it was hot so we didn't even want to walk all the way over there Bro, we were just trying to see body murder. language through like but, all the bodies um, watching the game I had gotten over there as soon as TDR scored on the first drive okay and um I don't think they got their extra point if I'm not mistaken like I said delirious at this point in time right um and then on and them got the ball. They was going. I'm pretty sure they didn't score. It was looking bad for Unk for a little bit. Unk and Dirty. Because it looked like it could have went a two-score game at one point. And then they got the stop. And then Unk and Dirty hit a mean bomb. This, this game was nuts. I Like I said, by this point, I'm, I'm out for the count. So I really don't remember what the hell even happened. Other than the point of, like, I could not miss a beat. This game. So you was back and forth. That's why I was so locked in. That's why I don't remember much of it off memory. Because I, I, I was so locked in at that point. Because I had to run over there to get to the game. Because I was across the freaking field. And filming then, another game. Filming another game. And then I didn't realize that they had started. 
because they were they had went all the way. I thought they was gonna play the championship like in the middle field. That's why I thought they was gonna play it. Yeah, but so I wasn't. There, so yeah. like I thought they were gonna play after the TWG Chaos game or something like in that area in the middle. Right. But then I looked over and I see them running like a play, and I was like, "What the hell, bro? I hit the forty yard dash." So really, I ran three fastest man races on Sunday because I was sprinting. Okay. But so I got over there right when they scored. But I was delirious, man. I don't really remember exactly what happened in order. All I know is that it literally it came down to the last drive, and it and, and uncat the last drive or TDR yes, had it. Yes, right. uncat the last drive. Okay. Yep. So congratulations to TDR once again. Did they thing once again? Champions kind of made our job easy for us, eh? Yeah. Another bracket. <laughs> Pick I because hey, I mean you know it's still an L because I did pick both No Mercies to go but um, for the No Mercy Bowl yeah but um once I heard that no uh, NM4L had to forfeit I changed my pick to TDR going to the championship against us because I'm picking my guys and my guys are more than capable of beating a team like TDR so I'm sticking with my pick as far as that goes but right. for the sake of keeping you know shit alive and at least having some enjoyment with the bracket versus my bracket being dead at 9 40 in the morning nine o'clock actually yeah <laughs> nine o'clock you know at least on that side yeah. you know what i mean so um you yeah, know that was much. so it's still a l but i chalk it up as a pseudo dub lowercase l lowercase l i like that lowercase lower l. l got you so yeah and this the men's bracket was you know Everything you would expect it to be and more. Right, everyone. Well, a lot of people say TDR Rocky Top was the championship. You must not have watched the actual championship. Punk and dirty game. Because yeah. it was like I didn't get to watch the Rocky Top, but the scores, I mean, look, it's a two point game, and then Unk and Dirty had the ball to go have a chance. So, you know what I mean? It's the same kind of game. So question, right? What's up? So you as a as a player going against a TDR, a Unk and Dirty, whatever, NM, 4L, whoever, whoever these top teams are, you have the last drive, you score. You go for two for the win? Or do you play for overtime? This is in the championship. Against TDR, it's I don't think I wanna go to, I don't think I wanna go to overtime with TDR. So you going for the you going for the, the two point conversion? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I want to. There's certain teams that you don't want to go to OT with, like because let me let me think about this before I just blabber out words like I sometimes do. Because for me as a rusher, I guess this can be like a selfish point of view. Me as a rusher, if I feel like I have more control, like over what the offense is doing as a rusher then I would rather go to overtime with them. Okay. Because I can impact a single play, like, more, and, like, with a higher risk of success or a higher chance of success versus if I play a TDR, uh, you know, NM4L. Like, Unk and Dirty, I would, I would go to OT with Unk and Dirty. Okay. Because, like, we thought about it. We, you know, we were like, we get the score and go to OT or we let them score and we go score and go to OT. We were fine with going to OT. You know what I'm saying? But if, like I said, if I had the choice, there's certain teams, you know, like I don't know if I would want to go into OT with Shada Gang. That's another, just off the top of my head when I look. Um, yeah. What about you, though? What I'm playing for OT, bro. You're playing Because you OT. never know what's going to happen. Well, and that's the, that's the same thing. It's just like... As much as I want to say you go... I, I think it's a momentum thing. Like and that's why I said... One, yeah, like you're if it's right one of those dealings well. where like we're down in the game and then we have to come back by like two scores or just like a good momentum and we have the flow of the game, we're going mm -hmm. for two. Because we have cause we have it on, on us to, to do it. But if it's been a back and forth game and it's just a situation where we get there... Let's go. Let's take it to overtime because you never know what the fuck is going to happen in well, overtime. And then, um, well, you know, in like our earlier days of playing when we were more in like the club sports scene and stuff like that, I was always a – I was like, we're going for the win. We always yeah, – we yeah. went for the win every single – but that was like my mentality, like right. even at the start of Supreme and stuff like that. But I, I've played a lot more games and, you know, gained a lot more knowledge. Like I kind of have a pick and choose. Like if you ask me if I get to have in a perfect world, right. then, you know, I would always – I'm never really on offense anyway, so going for two is like 
never really up to me. I always trust my offense if they believe they can go for two for the win because the offenses that I have, I'm confident with them going for two for the win. Right. The same as I'm confident about my defense, you know, so you making as a, a defender. stop. As a def- yeah, as a defender, meaning, okay, so... Okay, finish so that in, question. So I don't know fives, how you in, you using fives as an example. Uh-huh. As a defender, you go for one, obviously, it eliminates the threat of the run. Yeah. Going for two gives the threat of the run. So as a defender... I like that more because when a lot of people go for two, it shows to me that they want to run. Most of the time. Okay. And then either that or if it's a non it's a if it, if it's us, no and that's what I was about to say unless it's a non mobile quarterback then it's a little worrisome because then they want the spacing to get their route that they exactly want and most of the time they'll back up a little further so that way I have to I have like a ten yard rush right you know well you know I already have to go seven to the line you get what I'm saying fifteen yeah. twenty yard rush yeah. you know what I'm saying so you know Mike being a prime example of that is he'll drop back literally ten fifteen yards off his center and then I have seven off the center. So My you're way. rushing like 20, 25 yards. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And then he's dropping doubles and all that. So, you know, but if there's a running quarterback, most of the time when they go for two, that lets me know that I can take it into my own hands because most of the time they're going to try and run. Most of the time. Yeah. And if I, so. I just think that threat of two kind of frazzles a lot of defenses. Yeah, 100%. Because of what you said, because it gives the threat of the run. So now it's yeah. like if you have a quarterback back there that's going to have the ability to run, now you're looking at it like, Maybe I need to dude, come down and help. Yeah, but like, if I come down and help you're too leaving early. Somebody, yeah, you know what I mean? And if, somebody drop, if they drop a double, now you're kind of leaving it in a situation where if the people don't know how to communicate on the back end, who actually goes to get the double? So it's, like, it's a lot of shit where a lot of teams, they don't communicate before the play like, if this happens, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Versus you just going for one, you're kind of like, we only got to guard what? We have to guard routes. Yards. And if we're not really? rushing five seconds. Yeah, you know? like, we only got to guard like <clears throat> 10 yards. Yeah. So Agreed. But, yeah, in my circumstances, like I said, if I feel like I can impact a singular play for, like, OT and stuff like that, like, against said player and, like, their play style, I always like me. And I like controlling the situation like that in a game. Yeah. That's why I choose to rush and not rush on certain plays, you know, because if I don't feel like me rushing can impact the play, then I'm just going to put a body in space right? type deal. So, you know, and it's always a chess match because I'm a rusher that calls, calls his defense. Uh, you know, not a lot of rushers, I don't know if any at all, are the ones that call their defense. So, yeah. you know, I do a lot of different things. And so, you know, as far as like a rusher, you know, and – um. So I guess my opinion could just be a little bit different. You know what I mean? Yeah. In that sense. Because I, I'm thinking of it strictly from a me versus the quarterback perspective, not necessarily a a team thing. That's why I said it's a selfish opinion, you know, at the beginning. Because, yeah. I, I, like I said, I feel like I can impact a play. Yeah, boy, play that's that how you're much. supposed to feel. Yeah. So. so congratulations to TDR, though, nonetheless. And then the women's bracket. Right. So, uh, first round, um, very two very good, two great games. Hurricanes and Lady High Five, they went to overtime. Crazy. Um, so, that was – I watched the end of that game. That was a very – There was missed opportunities left and right in that game, too. This game could have easily been, you know – a freaking 18 to 20, a, you know, 18, 19. Because, like I said, there was touchdowns left on that field. Okay. So, it was an exciting game. Okay. A lot of, like, ah, oh, ah, you know. It was, right. it was, a lot of highs and lows. Yeah, it's a very exciting game. Very, very exciting game. And then the Nas Lethal Storm game, man, that was. That was a. equal. I just got goosebumps. Equally as exciting, you know what I mean? That game was crazy. Game. That was a, a learning experience so, I feel like for both teams so oh yeah 100 percent to learn how to handle adversity and because when you're up you're not as up as you thought you was up mm-hmm. and when you're down you're not as down as you think yep you're. exactly I, I was talking to a lethal storm before the game of course because you know um i had picked nas right to win that game so they were you know giving me some stuff and they gave um, me shit too well, they, shit yeah hands. exactly and um you know, I was telling them, I was like, really, any given Sunday, you know, you just got to you gotta play yeah. ball. I just expected more out of y'all. And, you know, 
they they went and won. And then they looked. Well, let me see what the – where's the next round? Let me just do some foreshadowing. So when I looked over, you know, foreshadowing to the second round, you know, the game, it's 13-0, but it looked a lot better when I was, like, you know, peeking so over. The score like, the score like it indicate Lethal what Storm it was. was – Lethal Storm was – they had a big play when I looked over. So okay. maybe that was the only big play of the game for them. But that's what it looked like to me is that that game was exciting which you would think that that game would be a blowout in the second round. But Lethal Storm played where, you know, they probably believe they should have been playing as far as a standard goes. Right. And that could have that, – did that catch y'all off guard? No. Did where y'all – you guys so, didn't – So, like I said in the previous, I said that if anybody was going – not necessarily catch them off guard, but if it was any team that was going to to shock them per se – it was going to be Lethal Storm. Because for whatever that's reason... It's a good pun you yeah, did there. For, for whatever reason, they just can't... Like, they can't get right against them. I don't know oh, what it really? is. is, that, is oh, so it's a thing. Yeah. I don't oh, because on Tuesdays as well, then, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, Lethal Storms gives them problem every single time they play them. So, like, even in that game, like, they were down... I think they were only down 7-0 at halftime. But it was like a 7-0 that felt like it was like a 21-0 type of feel. Because, like, Lethal Storm was really, like, like controlling the game. Then Nas came back. They did what they had to do. But then on the last drive, like, Lethal Storm was able to come down compose-wise mm-hmm. and score and get the extra point. Yeah. So, it was one of those games. Because y'all could have like, stopped the extra point. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So, it was. That was those, the context It was of one of those game. games where it was just, like, it was in the control of both teams. Yeah. Who was going to make the who play? Who was going to actually make the yeah. play to, you know, keep – because That's good football. I mean, to, to what, not, not – I think they had, like, maybe, like, three, four picks. So, they had opportunities to, like, put the game away, but it never – Yeah. Lethal Storm, even though they made mistakes, they found a way to, like, cover up those mistakes on the opposite end, like we were saying with men's, like, when the offense was messing up, the defense – Got it, yeah. Yep, up. exactly. When the defense start kind of, like, slacking off the offense. That's when the offense picked, picked yep. it up. Exactly. So – that's how it's go. That's good football. Yep. And then um, Go Getters, you know, didn't yep. show up. Mayhem got the forfeit win. B three versus Mayhem. I was not able. So I was going back and able forth to watch this because I was playing and during that time I was going back and forth between y'all game and their game. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was a zero zero game for the longest time. Was it now? And then a play got made. Um, from what I understand, uh, I think a, a interception got made at the end of the game to like close it out, or maybe it was on the extra point. I'm not sure. But that's basically how the game ended. Oof. So. Uh, yeah, we'll have to check with uh, Alejandro and see. Because he was on a championship run all day, of course. So, you know, he wasn't yeah. able to get a lot of content either. It was it was pretty difficult for us. Cause, I mean, I was only able to get a couple of games. I think I got four games. Hallie got – or I got three games. And Hallie got three as well. Okay. So it, it was, you know, it was difficult. It was a busy day. And then also winding down from playing. and Because yeah. it took me a while to, to come down after yeah, our game. Because our game was, yeah, our yeah. game was crazy. It wasn't just football, you know. Like, it was, right. it was yeah, there was a lot in, involved. So um, it took a little while to come down from my game. So I wasn't able to get the camera in my hand as fast as I would like to have. But. Right. So, um, so Flo beat Luther Storm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Champa and Queens handled business. They... Came in. I didn't they, even. They handled business. I can see why Hallie didn't tell me what that score was. She a lot to a little. They came she in spoke they, the truth. Well, I mean, from I seen Champa come down. They scored first possession. Then the very first possession for high five, they threw a pick six. So mm. they were in the hole from the jump. Yeah. And then FBM beating Savage Shock. Tasha's hurt right now, so it's just we kind of. It sucks. Some of Savage Shock, I believe they weren't actually there. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So. A lot of some of their players are on out of town or yeah, whatever. okay. So um, that might have contributed to the score. So flow against B three fifteen to zero. That's it. That's so that was I watched. Where was I at at this? What that was at eleven forty, uh, twelve twenty. So that was while the men's final was. Going. Oh, 12, okay, okay. You're right. So you're right. um, oh, Hallie did get this game. So Hallie got that this was, game. Uh, I think. Yeah, she was. She was over there recording. Um, B three was like only down by. Six Seven, I want to say. Okay. For the longest time, and then SoFlo, I think Marley hit like a, a a dot to the front corner to Kennedy, and it like put the game out of reach. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So it was a good game until the end, pretty much. Okay, yeah, I have to I have to go back and review all that film still, 
because that was what that's what Hallie was on. But yeah, she told me that all of her stuff was just crazy. So the okay, uh, Champa one point one score went over Queen. I watched. Um, I went and got that highlight for for Wood that I posted yesterday. The, oh, that, that was catch, that one. That catch that's that she had over catch. Yanni. That was a hell of a catch. Hell of a catch. Dude, hell, hell she was like, yeah, that, that, that one catch that, that catch. I had over Yanni, and I watched it, I was like, oh, you talking about this one, right? Damn. <laughs> Shoot. I'm going to put that clip right there. Bam. All right. So, don't forget. Um, but, yeah, that was a good game. So, Queens was in it. So, they weren't in it. Champa did what they had to do to make sure they got to the championship. The, championship, the championship game. Dude. That game was crazy. I've seen only the one highlight of Neek. That game was crazy. Catching, we'll have to do like um, a slant and then she took I, it to the crew. Dude, I was like watching because I was filming the. Or actually, uh, I, did, I think I seen a second highlight. One of the other girls posted and Neek had like a one hand pick. Yeah. I was like, well, what the, f- mm-hmm. what, 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 what in the holy hell? Freaking, I was doing. I don't even know. What game I was that. filming that been the, in the high five game. I'm yeah, I was sure. filming. No, it was in the championship. Oh, that was the championship game. He also? dominated the champion, bro. She God, went crazy. Damn, she went crazy, bro. But um, I was filming the D championship, uh, at the time, and then Hallie was on okay the women's championship, and so um, but I was dude, like I'm talking, my left eye was was cocked over to the left the whole time. I was like trying to watch the game while filming the the champ, because <laughs> bro, that game was it literally had all everything, bro. Every time I looked over, is it, it was a pick. It was a you know a big run. It was you know a, a dot, bro. Like, right. you know the women's bracket took the cake, bro. Like as far as excitement went, and I wasn't even able, like I wasn't even able to physically watch because I couldn't. I was you know I was working. Right. You know what I'm saying, Hallie. You know she likes to film the women's game, so of course I'm gonna let her. Right. I'm gonna let her do that. But I was constantly breaking my neck to, to see, to what, see was what was going on exactly. So that. You know, it had all the hype, and then I went back and watched the championship yesterday. It, we're gonna have to do a, a, a game review. On champ- we can do yeah, that. like um, we'll post just the championship game for you know watching purposes for y'all, but then we can do another video. Just- I mean, we could do. We haven't actually seen the championship. I didn't get to watch the women's. Oh, championship. we didn't get to. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I like so I said, I watched watching it for the first. Time. I was skimming. I skimmed through and watched. You know, I was trying to find plays. For Neek because she had asked for the plays, so I had watched what I watched, but it wasn't in context of what had just happened or this, this, and that. So yeah, we'll have to do that. Okay. Do uh, so, yeah. we can Shout we can Champa Champa back to back, back to back, back to back champions, killers, dogs, yep. down the board. Uh, that it was just nuts, bro. It was just <laughs> nuts. Was I think nuts. Uh, Candy might have been the MVP for. Women's championship, I think she was. Uh, strongest Sha- arm, Deontay. Deontay. Uh, strongest he, did, arm. did he get um all star as well? He did. Okay, that's Deontay then. Yes, he did. He Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. I have to actually come, you uh, know, introduce myself. Three to you time, you. three time reigning strongest arm winner in the women's division. She gonna have to just start throwing with the guys. He, just give her the women's medal, and then. I mean, see if she can double down and get two medals. I mean, um, I forgot what the girl's name is. She she just recently had the baby. Um, oh, uh, you talking about Regine? Regine, Regine. Uh, apparently, from out here, Regine is when she comes back. She's she's uh, Neek's biggest challenger. Yeah, she so, can throw that thing. Uh, oh, this hurts my heart, man. Fastest this man. dude is freaking fast. So, shouts out to Sean and his three X shirt that they gave him. Well, shout out to him. Shouts out. And what we got here, we got Tracy. So I heard the fastest, the fastest woman and the fastest man were under some uh, controversy. Yep, and I, I had to run again, and I got hurt. Oh, man. Yeah. That's crazy. But, I mean, that's me being out of shape. I, I caught a freaking cramp. So, <sighs> but, yeah, the women's. Where's the, did she post the, no, she ain't post the video in here, I don't think. I think it is in there, but I'm not sure. Maybe the video, I think, or so it's not in that one. It's another nope. one. Um. Comes up, then we'll watch it. Shouts out to Greg. All the pictures. So that's season 10. That's season 10. Oh, that was the recap. Okay. 
And this is good right here. So here's the list. Uh, women's All Star game actually got played. Yes, it did. In the men's. Uh, so when people put down this, your opinions this, in the comments this is my on what we could do so for this is my the All Star games. Suggestion for the men's All Star game. This is just me, and I take it from. I hope this is a good idea. No, no, no. I take it from kind of like what, uh, kind of like what the NFL does per mm-hmm. se, right? So oh, doing it before the. So I say, personally speaking, I think they should do the men's All Star game before either the final four, the semifinals, or do it before the championship game. And if you are in said semifinals or championship game. You have a choice whether you're going to play or not. That's your choice. Which most of the time they won't. They probably but that's, won't play. that's just but, like but that. But that's your yeah. choice. That would yeah. be your choice. But play the game before that, before the actual championship in the because that, so Because, because everyone everybody's leaves. Everybody's still there. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the game will actually start getting played. And watched. And like, yeah. So that's just my yeah, opinion. Yeah, because like I said, I was delirious by championship time. So and people don't want to sit out there and... The right. heat all day, you yeah. know, and stuff like that, and especially after they lost, like, cause mo- and 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 you're always like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill, and then you go around and lose early, and, <laughs> and then like, you yeah, don't want to really stay there no more. Exactly, you know what I mean. So, um, but that's just my opinion. I, I think, mean, and I think that's it not get that's not a bad opinion at all. Or before the 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 semifinals to yeah, see the game get played. And anybody who has suggestions, or if you guys think it should stay the exact same, just you know, put your opinions down. Let's just you know get the conversation going on on things we can do as players, and you know, help tone out and help JT out, and help everybody that helps keep this train rolling, and so, you know, see how we can improve. You um, know what we can. The women's game got played. Dolly won. Uh, team Dolly won. Um, Dolly won. All star MVP. Yes, she did. Uh, men's All Star MVP was somehow Velt. I heard he went crazy. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. They played a simulation Madden game or NFL Sim- oh, Street it was on, game. That's what it was. It okay. was a NFL, an NFL Street simulated yard. game okay. with everybody's the names in Velt there. Just went crazy on because they the did yard. not play, right? No, they did not. Okay, I think they just had an agreement. Yeah. I mean, um, if he he was the top vote getter, was he not? He was. That's so. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So so. Uh, for him and Shad, but if he was the number one point getter, then hey, or vote getter, bada bing, bada boom, or maybe Velt's people were there, and Shad's people weren't. Who knows? Either way, the All Star Game needs to be played. I would like to see it get played because there's a lot of it people. needs to get played. I feel like it's man. a lot of people, people want to see the I feel best. Like it's a lot of people who I want to see. A, I want to see the best on the best, and then for those people who. You know, it might be their first time actually getting chosen into the All Star game. Yeah, man, and, and they, they didn't get to work, play. They may have worked for the All Star game, and then they don't get to play against some of their peers that you know that they that they feel like they want to see how they measure up against yeah, because yeah. you know. So, yeah, but I mean, however, we can make it easier and make it more entertaining or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, or just, I mean, if we don't, if we don't have a, a, a at least men's wise, I mean, well, I don't want to make it. Gender bias. So I say, if it's not an all star game, then do like a skills competition or something like that. Like a not necessarily punt, pass, and kick type of deal, but like you know, I just want to say like a pro day. That's kind of like I don't know. Why, I don't know day. why that's that's the term that's just coming to my head though. But I mean, like you know, they have like a I don't know something. We got to start thinking, man. Something. Just like I said, if you guys if you guys got ideas, just just throw them in the comments because it won't hurt because. It's already the number one league in the nation, and you know what I'm saying. It's yeah. it's already doing its thing. So these are all just ideas to just to keep it spicy for everybody else, and you know, give us something else to to work for, or make the things that are already in place more of something to strive for. Yeah, you know what I mean. So selfishly, I say, uh, I mean, because this is my first year making. All-Star oh, for co-ed. co-ed, yeah, I would love to see a co-ed. All-Star a lot of game. the women, a lot of the women said that too, though. They said they wanted a co-ed All Star game. I would love to see a co-ed All Star game. Truthfully speaking, yeah, that would be. So um, I mean, you. I mean, I don't know how many people actually get picked for co-ed all stars. Is it just ten? I think it was just ten, so it'd be a five on five. Which so yeah, so I mean, you do if you do like the same amount for women. If you do twelve or fourteen, twelve or fourteen co-ed all stars, and then you just do a co-ed all star game that week that they played. What is it, thirty five and up? What, and, co-ed? and what it'd be like eight guys, six girls, right? Or, yeah, yeah, eight guys, six girls for fourteen, and then it would be um. Was that three girls each team, and then you have, if my math is right, seven guys each team? Yeah. 
so. or a little less because you could have four girls each team. Yeah. But it depends if you allow 12 or 14. Either yeah. way, the so. proportions would be right in order. Yeah. But, yeah, that would be cool too. But, you know, it's just time. That's all. That's that's so. the biggest enemy. It's the biggest enemy, you know, because with more teams, more fields, you know, you, more time now because Supreme used to end at – Damn you, near 12. Uh, you know, you, last games would be getting played at 12. We were all ready to watch NFL football by 1 o'clock. But, um, yeah. you know, that's that's what comes with growth and everything like that. So, once again, just put down any suggestions or anything like that, and you never know what will bite, and you don't know what will happen from it. But these playoffs, they did not disappoint, did not, not disappoint one bit. All. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Shouts out to all the MVPs. Shot fastest man, Alejandro. You see with some some footage within the good scoreboard. You know, good scoreboard. Action. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, hold on. yeah, go ahead and play Here's that. The play. Hold on, we just just let that thing. We got because you got to hear the audio. Oh my goodness! I wonder who made that clip. Flagbees. I watch it every time it comes up. You're behind me. I am. I am. You heard the desperation yeah. in her voice, bro. <laughs> I am. Pitch it. <laughs> well, yeah, bro, so. just crazy freaking play, man. It, it was like that all day. I'm telling you. Shouts out to the refs. Y'all pissed me off. I yell at you guys a lot, and I apologize. But you guys know what it is. It's all love, man. It is all, uh, you see, we got a post here, the best play. We'll have to go through that one day. We have a bunch of clips that people have sent to the email that we're going to be doing reviews on soon. So make sure you guys send us your clips to our email, flagfootballbeast at gmail.com. But the biggest thing, the flyer. Can we open it? Can you Click it. There you go. Click it. So, Supreme. We Shout out off. Dolly, Mark, Crystal, and Bowie making a cover. Season 11. Season 11 will not be back in season until June 18th. That's a long time. Long time. What are we going to talk about in between that? I don't know. Maybe we some, can have like a free agency special or something. I don't we'll know. talk some NLS. We can talk some free agent post. That's going to be That's going to be hilarious. That's going to be awesome. Uh, um we need to have a guest. Submit. We need to have a guest on. A lot of people are saying that we need a guest. Um y'all submit what y'all want to see for this next month. So oh, yeah, and if you're going to say anything about our predictions in the future, you need to submit your own predictions. So, yes. Yeah, so because you can't, what, just, you can't just be taking shots so, and then not be willing to so get shots next, backfired so at you. next season, what we'll do, this is what we'll do. Next season, we will have a weekly tally of picks. So, Tone always gives us a, a men's game of the week, women's game of the week, co-ed game of the week, 35 Four man game of the week, so that's five. And then maybe we could pick five other games that we yeah 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 yeah. So five decide. So we'll weekly have ten games. Okay. Uh, of you know what the ten games are, you submit it. Make sure it's in by Friday. Um, we will work with Auntie for the following week. Or we will say a fruit bowl. Or something along those lines. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some type of way to to get y'all more involved. And yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Or or this is what we're going to do. Uh, we were talking about it. Um, when we do start going live, hopefully we start going live, uh, having a guest picker like they do on uh, oh, yeah, like, college uh, football. College Saturday, football. Yeah. So whenever we have these guest pickers, Bird. Uh, Doubt K will come on. Uh, no, no, we have to go. If he's at the field, um, we can do that. Yeah, though, okay. tone. Some of these other individuals, we bring them on live, and you pick the ten games. You you pick the games. Yeah, and we'll see what what you stacking up against our picks. Since yep. everybody think they can be so right, it's not easy, guys. Then we will. Some see. of y'all like to come out here and act like you never played flag before. So then we will see what it. What you know really what I'm like, saying? What, and what I'm not exempt really from that. Like. So. But, hey, oh, yeah. you guys know how it goes. Sometimes you just don't you don't show up to play. Messing up my picks. Yep. So, I mean, that was my that was my speech before. Everybody that I picked that I want to see them this past weekend, mm -hmm. I was like, don't mess up my bracket. Yeah, please don't. You're going to make me look stupid. Please don't. Do not mess up my bracket. We, we got a good thing going, bro. Yep. 
Good thing going. I'm digging it. Y'all keep hating if you want to. Or y'all can make a podcast yourself. That's always an option. Always or y'all awesome. can just keep watching us. And we would appreciate that a lot. On that note, we, we out of here.